Ma'am, class, this is my MA383 midterm problem video. My name is Cadet Isabella Palchek, and this project is due on October 4th, 2023. This is part one of the midterm. To introduce my problem, I will first explain what proof writing is. So proofs are arguments that logically explain why a mathematical statement is true. In order to write a proof, you must generate examples. Um, so you must be able to demonstrate your arguments and support it with examples. Um, if, you know, you find the statement to be false, um, you'll, you'll find that um, by counterexamples, in which case you can um, come up with a condition that may make your statement true, and you can, you can prove that condition. Some kinds of proofs include direct proofs, proof by contradiction, case-by-case -case proofs, um, induction methods, um, in this case, I will show an example of a direct proof to solve my midterm problem. Why is MA383 different um, than other math courses? So in this class, all students will learn to read and write proofs. Even if you don't like math or you say you're bad at math, you will still leave this class learning how to read and write a proof. Um, MA383 places a greater emphasis on understanding the material um, than necessarily the points and grades associated with each assignment. So we have in-class assignments, fill-in-the-blank assignments, um, homework assignments that are all checks on learning and are returned with a lot of great feedback that help um, you or me as a proof writer to correct my mistakes and learn how to better you know, build my proof for the next, next problem. So this means <clears throat> it's okay to be slow to understanding material as long as you can get it in the, in the long-term goal and you shouldn't be afraid to be wrong. And um, finally, proofs are hard. You can't memorize a example proof that will help you master um, proof writing for any statement. You need to explain logically how and why a statement is true. Um, so unlike MA 486 and 40, 477, um, you can't copy and paste certain algorithms to help you solve any given problem. And unlike MA 255, two seemingly different problems um, can be proved uh, drastically differently. And you must learn to develop examples um, to support your thought processes and your logic. So this is the outline of the proof writing wiki. First step is to develop examples, which will help you to determine if you will prove your statement to be true, or if you find counterexamples, um, you can um, create conditions that will make your statement true, and you can prove those conditions. Step two is to draft um, your, your first if-then statement, which helps you identify your hypothesis, which is also known as your no, and separate that from your conclusion, aka your show. Step three is to identify your no, which is your hypothesis, and those are the words between the if and then. Step four is to expand on your no. So you need to manipulate your no, which should be an algebraic expression, by expanding through theorems and definitions, which will be the nuggets of information you will use um, later to connect it to your show or your conclusion. Step five is to identify your show, which is the words after the then, the then in your if-then statement. And step six is to expand your show, uh, which is similar to step four, manipulating the algebraic expression um, using theorems and definitions. Step seven is to write out your final draft of the if-then statement and then that will be the first and final statements of your proof that will help you to um, write your full, clean proof. My given midterm problem statement is the power set of A intersect B equals power set of A intersect power set of B. And I followed the first step of the proof writing wiki, which is to develop examples. So I developed three examples. Uh, the first case was when um, my set A and set B have had an overlap um, which I pointed out was the intersect um, between A and B. In my second example, I used two sets that had no overlap of A intersect B. In my third example, I developed a case where set A and set B were the same. In all three cases, I found the statement to be true. So my next step process is to prove um, that power set of A intersect B equals power set of A intersect power set of B. I then drafted my if-then um, statement, which was my first draft, um, stating if C 
exists within the power set of A intersect B, then C exists within the power set of A intersect power set of B. I also identified my no, which was the words between the if and the then. Um, C exists within the power set of A intersect power set of B. Oh, excuse me. C exists within the power set of A intersect B. Step four was to expand my no, which I did by using the definition of power set and the definition of subset, uh, which resulted with um, my statement, if Y exists in C, then Y exists in A, and Y exists in B, um, where Y is an element of the set C, and the set C is an element of the power set of A intersect B. Step five was to identify my show, which is C exists within the power set of A intersect the power set of B. Step six, I expanded my show um, through the power through the definition of power set and the definition of subset, um, which resulted in the statement if X exists in C, then X exists in A, and if X if Z exists in C, then Z exists in B. In which case C is the subset of A and B or a set of the power set of A, the set of the resulting power set of A intersect power set of B, and X and Z are elements of subset C. Finally, I wrote out my second draft of my if-then statement, which helped me to plan out the first and last statements of my proof. Um, so I, I need to show that C is a subset of A and C is a subset of B, meaning I need to show um, that an element that exists within C um, also exists within set A and set B. Therefore, I will have shown that power set of A intersect B equals the power set of A intersect the power set of B. Finally, I have my clean proof where I first lay out my conjecture that the power set of A intersect B equals the power set of A intersect the power set of B. I then state my if-then statement um, and what I need to show. I need to show that the power set of A intersect B is a subset of power set of A intersect power set of B and that power set, power set of A intersect power set of B is a subset of power set A intersect B. I will use the definition of power set and subset to expand my no, which resulted in if C exists within power set of A and B, then C exists within A and C exists within B, which I identified uh, with the squiggly underline. These are the nuggets of information that I will use to connect my no to my show. So I also use the same definition of power set and definition of subset to expand my show, um, which resulted in if C exists within the power set of A intersect power set of B, then C exists within A and C exists within B, which I also identified with an underlying squiggly. Which brings me to two um, points. If X exists within C, then X also exists within A. And if Z exists within C, then Z also exists within set B. I then demonstrate this first statement where I let X be an element of C and C be an element of the power set of A intersect B. Since C exists within the power set of A intersect B, I know that C exists within A and C exists within B. Since I let X exist within C, then I know that X also exists within A. This same logic is applied for Z existing within C, C existing within the power set of A intersect B, and Z exists within set B. So this applies to both um, sets A and B. I then do the same thing to show my second point where I let Z exist within C and C exists within the power set of A intersect power set of B. Since C exists within the power of set of A intersect power set of B, I know that C exists within A and C exists within B. Since C, Z exists within C, then Z also exists within B. I use that same logic, logic for an element X existing within C and C existing within the power set of A intersect power set of B, um, resulting in X also existing within A. So I apply that same logic to demonstrate um, the reverse case where the power set of A intersect power set of B is a subset of the power set of A intersect B. 
Therefore, I um, have shown that Z exists within B, Z exists within A, X with a, exists within A, and X exists within B. Thus, I have arrived at exactly what I wanted to show and demonstrated that power set of A intersect power set of B equals the power set of A intersect B. And that is the end of my proof. So now I'll just briefly go over um, the wiki proof quality control checklist, um, which determines or differentiates a well-written proof from a poorly written proof. So the wiki outline uh, provides the following questions. Does my proof define all variables? Does my proof explain all algeb algebraic transformations in words? Does my proof clearly state my hypothesis, aka my no? Does my proof clearly state my method and approach? And have I um, correctly cited all mathematical definitions and theorems that I used to expand both my no and my show? And these questions help you to determine whether or not you have all of the necessary elements um, of a well-written proof. And this completes my video. Thank you very much.